Now we're told that Brett, who has a mass of 70 kilograms, sits 1.2 meters from the fulcrum of a uniform seesaw, determine the magnitude of the torque exerted by him on the seesaw, and at what distance from the fulcrum on the other side should a 54 kilogram dawn sit so that the seesaw is horizontal. So if we draw a free body diagram of our seesaw, um, we have Brett over here sitting on one side and Dawn over here sitting on the other side. We know this distance is 1.2 meters. Um, we know her weight is 54 kilograms times G. And so we can figure out first, we're asked what the torque is that, um, that this guy, Brett, generates. So that's just his the weight times the distance. So again, um, if we say that counterclockwise is positive, so then that is just 823 newton meters because this is just simply 70 times g times 1.2. Then we know the torque that Dawn creates is just her weight times the distance in the opposite direction. And so we know that to make this, um, make this seesaw horizontal that these two torques have to be equal to one another and so that tells us that d d2 what we're looking for how far dawn needs to sit from the from the fulcrum is just the weight of the person on the other side divided by her weight times the distance that the other person is sitting these things both have g in them so we can cancel g and so we get their mass or mass ratio instead of a weight ratio and we know their masses, um, the mass of Brett is 70 kilograms, Dawn's mass is 54 kilograms. We know D1 is 1.2 meters, so that gives us that Dawn needs to sit 1.56 meters from the fulcrum. Obviously because she, lead, she weighs less, she has to sit farther away than Brett does.